Hey there golfers, I'm Drew Mahol with Second Swing Golf. I'm joined by Thomas Campbell, my professional golfer and master club fitter at Second Swing. We're outside on the practice screen today. Thomas has a few gadgets with him. Uh, he's going to show us three of his favorite drills to practice putting. Uh, of course, putting is what, 40-ish percent of shots taken on the golf course. So clearly it's important to figure out your putter and uh, have confidence on the greens. So Thomas is gonna outline uh, three drills for you to work on to improve uh, your line, your speed, and your confidence. So Thomas, can you break them down briefly here, and then we'll get into uh, actually demonstrating how they're used. Yeah, so when you mention gadgets, these gadgets aren't expensive. Yeah. You can definitely get a putting stick, costs a little bit more, or you can just get a yardstick from mm -hmm. Home Depot or Menards, something to kind of putt down with regards to your target line. I also have a chalk line, which can be picked up also from Menards, it's not very expensive, yeah. $10 at the most. Fill that with chalk and then pull a, pull a chalk line there as well. And then golf tees. Golf tees is a way to kind of mark yourself where you should hit your putts from. So you mentioned the three important fundamentals. Yeah. Line, speed, and confidence. Mm -hmm. So first, starting off with line. So line, you want to get your ball started on your intended line. So I love to use a chalk, chalk line. A chalk line on the putting green is a great option to try and understand get that ball started on the right line. Mm -hmm. For players that maybe been stuck inside this winter, a putting stick or a yard stick is a great option there as well to try and get your ball to start directly straight down that line and put it on that stick and keep the ball on, on line there too. So line is the first thing. Speed is important. So speed, I love to use a ladder drill. So I create my own ladder drill where I grab 10 tees, I pace out, 10 paces in increments of one pace. Okay. So the first start from about three feet, six feet, nine feet, 12 feet, all the way up to 30 feet in length. And I create myself a goal of making a certain amount of putts. And if I don't make them, I want to make sure the ball gets past the hole. Yeah. So okay. past the hole, but within a certain area. So yep. that is speed. And then confidence. This is the, uh, where the most Use drill that I use when I'm, yeah. when I'm practicing my putting. I love to just place some tees around the hole and just try and make putt after putt after putt around the hole. The reason I do it around the hole and I don't putt from the same spot every single time is on the golf course you get a wide variation yeah. on left to right, right to left putts, straight putts, downhill, uphill. So it's important to change that up. That's yeah. why I like to go around the hole. So those are my three most important fundamentals. All right. Well, uh, Thomas, why don't you demonstrate for us here? We'll start with that. Uh the drill with the line here, we're gonna use these gadgets with the chalk line, we're gonna use the putting stick and we're gonna um, improve our line here and then we'll go into speed and confidence. So Thomas, looks like you got your line here, um, and this is simply, you know, it, it's not like damaging to the green or anything, and it's easy to kind of put together as you kind of indicated there. So now you're just working on keeping the ball on that line. It, exactly. It's not going to damage the green. The green keeper's not going to be mad at you if you put a little chalk line. It'll wash out off when it rains or yeah. when the green gets water. So it'll, it'll be gone by the next day. Important, most important thing to do to make sure the green keeper doesn't get mad at you is don't hit a hundred putts from putting in the exact same spot because your feet marks will get worn all over there too. So definitely don't spend all day <laughs> in the doing same spot. this. Otherwise there might be a little bit of beer patch where your feet are. Sure. But yeah, so when I'm doing this, first thing I'm trying to do is I'm trying to get the ball in the center of my club face. So when I've got this line here, I can see whether if I'm hitting it off the toe or if I'm yeah. hitting it off the heel. Sure. So that's the first thing I'm trying to do. And then when I'm hitting a putt, I'm just trying to get that ball to kind of putt and go straight back, straight through and have that ball roll straight down that line. Okay. And this per putt isn't exactly a perfect straight putt. We found that out right after we pulled the chalk <laughs> line, so it does break just ever so slightly to the left there. You get the general idea, try and find a flat putt, 
that's gonna float, that's gonna roll nice and straight. Yeah. Um, you can definitely, if you're trying to work on hitting the ball at a right edge or a left edge, you can definitely aim the chalk line to the right edge if you know yeah. it breaks a little bit to the left. That's a good way to learn how to hit the ball just a little bit to the right. Have yeah. break, take the ball to the left or vice versa. Okay. Yeah, this is very easy to do. Great way to build confidence and knowing that you can get both shot on the right line. And it also gives you that good visual too. You have, you know, of course, if you use a golf ball like uh, the Chrome Soft X here, but there's also others out there with an alignment aid on the ball so they can line up along the chalk line here. Plus, you got the putter alignment aids. So there's so much visuals going on there too that can help with your putting stroke get that ball on the right line. Yeah, you're definitely right. If I have my putter open, I can, I can see that that's open. I can see it's not lined up to that line. I want to make sure that everything is lined up down that line. And I hit it straight down the line and it should go in the hole. Yeah, there you go. And I did also mention the putting stick is another, another option to get the ball started on, on the right line. So this is just a good kind of way to kind of see how it, it is used. So you can do this inside or outside. This is challenging, believe it or not. It is hard to get that ball to stay on this on this line. So I usually like to set myself a target, but really, really on to try and get 10 in a row that go roll down that stick. May seem fairly easy, but once you jump on this thing, oh, yeah. you understand, you, you be aware, you see that ball consistently falling off the left side, that is, you pull on it essentially. Yeah. Falling off the right side, you push it a little bit. So I'm just gonna hit a couple of parts here. One thing I do like about the, this putting stick, the pro version, is it does have a built-in mirror in there too, so you can see your eye position. Yeah. Make sure it's directly over the ball. I got lucky. <laughs> <laughs> so that's an easy way too. Again, like you said, to make sure you're putting the ball on the line that you're intending for. And these are uh, also great for indoors, outdoors. Like you can take that on the course, but you can also use that in your living room, in your bedroom, uh, in your garage, anywhere. And it can help you with your putting. And the uh, most important thing putting really is making sure it's on the right line that you want uh, to start with in those first few feet. And then after that, it's kind of, you know, your read and your speed and take care of the rest of the putts. So, uh, the putting stick, you can also get those a second swing, by the way, on secondswing.com. So, uh, a great option for golfers. For the putting stick. So, Thomas, you've got 10 golf tees lined up here. Yep. Basically, as you mentioned before, about a pace apart. So you're just trying to you know, get your speed control down here, right? Correct. Yeah. So that part, for example, I it missed. My speed was still good. So I'm yep. really working on my speed right now. The ball still ended up past the hole. And I put this uh, kind of barrier there. If I hit that barrier, I have to start all over again. Okay. Yeah. So my goal is to get it past the hole, but not hit the barrier. Right. And then, of course, that's easier with these putts. But then as you move farther back, it's going to be obviously much more difficult to you know, get the ball past the hole, but also not hit that barrier. Correct. Settle, 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 settle. Yep. Got lucky. Cutting it close. <laughs> So you think right there is a sweet spot for distance for pretty much any putt, right? Give it a chance to go in the hole, but not uh, you know, too aggressive where it could be damaging if you miss the hole. Yep. <laughs> <Good>. Counts. <laughs> he might have helped me out a little bit. 
just a little bit. All right, so that's that's my speed drill. If I happen to leave the putt short, start over again. Okay. If I happen to hit this, start over again. Okay. Go back to first one, get it done. So you're just you're trying to make sure you get this accomplished, this little game here at some point. If it takes, you know, an hour or so, I mean, that's how long it takes. But in this case, well, with the help of the tee, it took you know, a few minutes. But uh, the idea is to provide that consistent speed control where you're hitting it a foot to two or three feet past the hole uh, where it's enough to go in, but also if you miss the hole, not too damaging. Yeah, the perfect holding speed, but also if I have it just a little bit past the hole, I know I'm going to make the next part. All right. Well, we've got line down, we've got speed down. Let's get that uh, the last element there of confidence. Sounds good. My goal here is to get go around, make sure I don't miss one. Okay. If I miss one, then I start again. Okay. That seems pretty simple, right? So the thing about this is going around in a circle around the hole, you do have to kind of look at it and read the green each time because it's not going to be the same. Not going to be the same straight putt every single time. And it's always nice to find a hole that's got a little bit of slope to it as well. in there and as I'm doing this too I'm going through my my routine to set up for a shot so I'm lining myself up to hit a okay. putt because so I'm trying to make this on the golf course yep so you're trying you're basically you know practicing like you play right yep. so you're gonna if you have this putt on the golf course you're gonna set up to it line it up the same way Back to the start again, go start from one again. But you get the idea. So yep. this one, I'm trying to build my confidence, make sure I make my way around this circle entirely once. You can modify this as much as you want. Sometimes I'll make make myself make 25 in a row. Yep. Sometimes I'll make myself make 50 in a row. Sometimes I'll just do it once around from three feet, and then I'll do it once around from six feet. So okay. I'll extend the distance out a little bit there too. Yep. The idea here is to build your confidence from this, from the shorter distance, yeah. knowing that you can make lots of these putts. Because these putts are kind of the ones that can really make or break a round. If you miss a few short putts in a round, that's three or four shots that can, you know, change the, the entire perspective of your score. And if you make all these, that's can also change things for a positive way. So um, that's a you know a great way to get again build your confidence on the greens. Um, now I wanted to ask you too: Is there a specific order that you do these on the putting green, or is it you know line speed and confidence, or does it kind of vary by the day, or how's that work for you? It really varies for, based on what I feel like I need to work on the most. As okay. I mentioned, this drill here, I probably do the most. Okay. This is my number one drill because I'm really trying to. I'm always trying to be confident on the golf course. Yeah. I, I always work on my on my short putts. Uh, then you want to be confident on your speed, so I do do add in a little bit of speed there as well. And then line, if I do start noticing I'm starting to miss the ball a little bit to the left, a little bit to the right, could be me, could be my alignment, part of it could be off as well. So. Yeah want to maybe consider getting fitted as, as well to make sure everything's getting in line. But the most important thing is getting that thing started straight down the line. So that's yeah. the other piece I do. I'd say probably 50%, 25%, 25%. Okay. So yeah. you're kind of, it's based on what you need to work on. And that's something uh, for golfers to take note of too. Uh, when you're putting on the greens, you maybe miss, you know, every putt's missing right or every putt's missing left. You might need to work on getting the ball in the right line. If it's your speed, of course, working on that speed drill, Thomas did the, the ladder uh, drill with the tees. So, um, three drills here from Thomas uh, that he uses to work on his putting, and now you guys can take them to the golf course, to the putting green, and uh, they should help you and your putting, and hopefully your less putts, lower scores, more fun on the golf course. So, Thomas, thanks for showing us how to do that. Yep, not a problem.